is a skill that's maybe overlooked, but for one Eastwood Middle School teacher and coach, he says having this training was able to help him save a student's life. KTSM 9 News reporter Skylar Soto brings us this life-saving story. Skylar. Andy, Mr. Eduardo Quintanilla has been teaching for 17 years, and each year he is required to take and renew his CPR training. Up until recently, he was able to take that training and apply it in a real-life situation. Now, Mr. Quintanilla says he clearly remembers his training and being able to save a student's life was scary, but he feels instant gratitude. He says it happened during his PE class where students were comp completing the fitness gram test. The students just began the mile run and that's when he noticed a small group of kids gathered around a young boy lying on the floor. Quintanilla then made his way to the boy and noticed he didn't have a pulse and wasn't moving. He quickly cleared the area and radioed for help. Then he began CPR. And after about 16 compressions, the young boy gasped for air and let out a cry, all before paramedics arrived. He, well, he's in, he's in my class so I, every, every day, every day he comes out. It's just a, it's a reminder to me that, that um, one, training works, two, uh, I was in the right place at the right time and I'm just very thankful that, that, that I was there uh, to be able to, to help this boy. He also says it's been mentioned that he is a hero, but Quintanilla says he was just doing his job and he would do it again. Now, Quintanilla says a piece of him feels safer knowing he would go to these lengths to make sure that these students are okay. And tonight at 10, make sure you tune in because I'll be able to tell you how you can become CPR certified. In the newsroom, I'm Skylar Soto, KTSM 9 News. Such a life-saving skill right there. Skylar, thank you for that look. Meanwhile